But first, the Wichita Firefighters Union calling for the removal of the Sedgwick County Emergency Communications Director. Good evening, I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Julia Thatcher. This comes a day after the union president held a press conference calling out dispatchers for what he calls errors made the day that a 22-year-old woman died in an apartment fire. The 911 director defended her staff's actions. The case in Samantha Boring joins us in studio with these latest developments. Samantha? Jeff, Julia, in the last 45 minutes, the union president sent KSN an email calling for the removal of a Laura Forshe. He says, quote, she has failed these dispatchers. She has failed Sedgwick County 911. She has failed the public and she has fa failed Paoli Badeski and her family. We have no confidence in her ability to direct 911. End quote. We reached out to the county but are still waiting for comment. Now, before that email was sent to us, I spoke with Sedgwick County Manager Tom Stoles. He says just days after the fire, the county held an after action analysis with 911, dissecting the call to see what went well and what could have been improved. Following that meeting, Stoll says 911 and Fire Command met about the call as well. Stoll says that's common procedure for calls with this kind of magnitude. It's also been discussed internally as well as by county, the county and commissioners. They say it's a tragic incident and any complaint, including the fire unions, they take seriously. Whether we hear an address or don't hear an address, the dispatcher just in the heat of the moment did not hear that address. I don't know what else we can say on that. He is human. Uh, he kept asking and the duration that call was so short we just couldn't and he cannot speculate. He cannot infer what he heard because that puts people in jeopardy too. They can only put out what they know to be true. Cedric County Commissioner Ryan Beatty says he's confident in the people who run 911 for the county. The 911 Advisory Board meeting is meeting in the next few weeks to go over the call a third time since the fire. We're going to be good partners and we're going to sit down uh, and really map out what's the most efficient path forward for communication and 911 services in this county. That 911 advisory board meeting will take place December 14th. Here for you, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.